because of being at, at, at Studio One doing what I was doing, and what I was doing was arranging. So actually, while uh, I'm, I'm in the studio arranging, I realized that being an arranger, you, you are the real producer. Because most of the producers back in that time were people who, who were um, executive producers. They, they, they had nothing to do with it, making other songs. They would bring an artist and face the, the musicians and the musicians and the artists would be doing the work. So we were always the producers, you know? We were the arranger, the musician who made the songs. And we were the producers, because we were producing the music, you know? He, the, the guy who, who, at the end of the day, who makes all the money, he was the executive producer, and that's what he does. So from a long time, we knew that we were the producers. And um, I don't know why I, I didn't just leave to the one and go do that too, you know? But, but um, I was caught up in so many different things because at the studio, I, I was doing arrangements, I was doing harmonies, back there arranging harmonies and singing harmonies and songs like Babu, Babu, Baba, Ya, and all the Babandi, you know, and um, many other people, you know, while playing. I, so I, 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 I was, um, multitask in the studio there. I was arranging, playing, bass, um, auditioning, even getting the artists together, I was there. Because they, after a while, they realized I, that I was so capable that they left everything in my hands. And I, I felt it as, as a compliment, you know? And I, 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 I was very grateful for all of this because then I was able, I was able to prove myself as an individual. You know, and and then I was able to test myself to see how much I could do and all that I have. So uh, it was no burden till after a while. <laughs> you know? We hear different stories about Mr. Dodd. Yeah. Um, some say he was fair. Some say he was not fair. What was your experience like? With well, for the first thing, it was not fair because it was my complexion. No, that's a joke. <laughs> but uh, I, I know exactly where you're coming from. It's like um, financially, he, he was a businessman. And business people are, are um, what you would say, um, they, they're artless. You know, they're all, they, they are financial achievers. They, they're doing this to make money. You know, we were doing this to make music. You know, we were in two different categories, you know. And um, as an individual, he was a nice person, you know, as a, as a, as a man to man. He, he, he was a guy who would run jokes sometimes and, you know, and all of that, you know. But financially, no, 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 no. He was all for himself. He was selfish financially. Well, let me hear you say, my auntie. 